Today we had a 10-year-old gilding that we looked at that has had numerous lameness issues over the last several months. Uh, the owner's not been able to ride the horse. The horse has had numerous injections, different types of shoes put on. It has continually been lame, especially in the right front leg. We took some radiographs of the horse and found that the right front navicular bone had some significant lesions in it. We'd still have a little more toe than I'd like to have on him. And I think the whole mechanics of watching this horse move, I think the soft rider shoes are gonna give him a lot more of an ease of breakover in whichever direction he needs, which hopefully will take some pressure off the tendons, off this bursa, and give a lot more support up through this sole and just make the overall leg function a lot easier for him. Uh, we'll just have to see. The right front has been the worst foot of the two for as long as the lady can remember. I do think we have some changes on this navicular bone as well on the left front. I'd like to see a little less toe and with the soft rider shoe, we're gonna be able to move that shoe back and get that mechanical break over to happen a lot easier for him. So good. I think that's kind of where we wanna go with this horse. Sounds good. The soft rider arena shoe is phenomenal for any type of performance horse. The horse does not necessarily have to be lame to benefit from this shoe. The thickness of the sole that we can protect concussion going up into that coffin bone, I think is a phenomenal aspect of this shoe. We also have the mechanical ease of this shoe breaking over in any direction that a horse needs to break over. So I went ahead and went in and pulled those older straight bar shoes off and we've determined that we want to go ahead and move the brake over back set the shoes back off the toe and go ahead and put our soft rider shoes on in this case we're using a double lot it's a performance shoe so prior to nailing the shoes on what i like to do is tape the shoes on where they need to be placed. So however far you determine you need to sit back off the toe or if you even need to do that, and then I'll tape it on. And then I'll let that horse kind of stand there for a little bit. I'll get an eye at my angles. I may even retake radiographs to really get a real good look at what the change is gonna be and see how the horse reacts as well. So on the soft rider shoes, there's some pre-stressed points where your nails could go. Um, anywhere along there really will work. But what I like to do is, is see where I'm going to put the shoe on the foot. In this case, we're gonna be setting it back off the toe about an eighth of an inch. Then I can see where my last nail would, where I would want it to go in conjunction with what's already there. I may have to go and pre-drill some holes in some different spots, or you can simply nail through the material kind of depending upon what you prefer. Um, on this case, I think we'll go ahead and pre-drill some holes. The, the back end of this shoe now, I'll probably grind on a little bit just to get some of that to not be sticking so far out. And my, my rear nail that is already set here on the shoe from factory is probably a little bit too far back for what I want. So I'll go ahead and come up one. And that, that's why I do this prior to so that I can see that for indefinite. And I just line up right in the center not too far to that outside again, which ends up kind of being pretty self-explanatory because they've got that real nice line already in there for you. The nail spacing is really up to you. You can also take a standard steel shoe, shape it to the foot, and then set it onto one of your soft rider shoes and use that as a template to drill your holes if you need to. Set it back off the toe, our eighth of an inch we talked about earlier. I'm using slim blade nails with these. What's really nice is because there is no pre-drilled holes, you can literally put nails anywhere that you need to, anywhere that foot allows you to. It's important to notice that when we nailed the shoe on, we did not put packing underneath that shoe. If you put the shoe on and then packing in that shoe and then you nail it on, you're just transferring all that pressure through the shoe into the sole of the foot. So I want that foot to have some space in there so that we have some room to protect that sole pressure from happening on that foot.
Now, I usually nail my first two toenails and my first rear nails, just basically tacking the shoe on and letting that horse stand there for a little bit, maybe walk him up and down the aisleway and get a real good idea if the angle is right, if that particular shoe is right. So the horse has had the shoes on about 10 minutes and he seems to be freer moving forward. We don't see much of any head movement like we had previously. Stride distance is about the same on both. Once you've shod that horse and that shoe is on there and, and finished, you wanna be certain that you take some quality farrier silicone is what I use, and you wanna squeeze that in the back of that frog. You don't wanna get that in there too far and too deep because it could create sole pressure and that's negative to this situation. We just want it to, to keep some debris out and allow that shoe to you, you know, work the full capacity of what it's supposed to do. The soft rider shoe, mechanical dynamics of that shoe on a horse's foot change the pressures not only on the coffin bone, but the coffin joint, the pastern joint, the fetlock joint, and your flexor tendons, along with your navicular bursa, your navicular bone. As far as the dynamics go, I think this actually helps to pump blood in that foot because you've got more movement of that foot up and down. They just make a tremendous difference in how these horses move and feel. If you happen to have any problems, questions, concerns, or issues with the Soft Rider shoes, contact Soft Ride. They'll be happy to get you in contact with one of us, one of the veterinarians or farriers that use these, and we'll be happy to help you any way we can.